My name is Benjamin Luke Atkinson, and this is my story. Uh, my first experience of meeting Ben um, was obviously here in the kitchen at Odyssey House. Um, he was just friendly, down to earth, um, easy to interact with. Um, the first thing he said to me was, is that a soul fly tattoo? Because I had a tattoo on my arm he recognised and um, yeah. And then from there I realised we had similar tastes in music and <laughs> sort of just got along from there. Yeah, for a lot of them, they don't expect people to believe in them. So it's just about giving them a sense of, um, a sense of humanity, just treating them like any other person. Having Ben put his trust in me is pretty, pretty warming, I guess. It gives me a bit of self-worth. Because if Ben sees it, then there must be something there. When I was 17, um, I was kicked out of home, and I, I spent a month living um, in the public toilets um, at Miyazu Gardens, if you know Nelson. Um, so my seventh form year was pretty rough. Um, my dad's pretty proud. He keeps telling me like, just keep doing it and you'll be a politician one day. If Ben was sitting here right now and I wanted to tell him something, I'd probably just actually tell him how much I appreciate him and how much I appreciate the opportunities that he's given to me. I'd say um, you're an amazing guy and a, um, a person who has seen a need and done something about it, which is extremely rare. Uh, ben, we're sitting here right now. I'd, I'd like to say a massive thank you from Tuaku Inua School for the services he's providing and, and providing the lunches for our Tamaniki. When I told people that I wanted to end child poverty, everybody laughed at me. I'm not delusional, I know that I'm not ending it now, but I'm doing my little bit. And if you don't have a long-term vision, then you're never going to hit anything. I'm Benjamin Luke Atkinson, and that was my story.